Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Capricorn placement that you resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Anything seen, including the lamp and coupon codes, will be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we'll post some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance um, for the week. Jumping right in Capricorn, I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience. Your first card out this week that flipped over is the Queen of Cups. Most strongest energy, Capricorn. Uh, Cancer, spicy, Scorpio energy. You could have uh, water in your chart. You could be dealing with a water sign. Someone with a lot of love to give, though, whoever this is. What else do we have for Capricorn? This person has a lot of love to give. This could definitely be you. But not, not action-oriented. So maybe some of you want to give your love to somebody. Five of Wands. Drama, conflict, competition. Not seeing eye to eye. Also energy of change. What is going on? What's taking so long? You might be ignoring some people. Or you might need to ignore some people. See her way, the way her back is turned to that five of wands? She's not paying it. No mind. Male or female does not matter. Female is not action oriented energy. Three of wands, three of swords. Okay. Lots of threes. Some sort of loss here in the past. Some sort of loss. Emotionally. Someone could also be in their feelings a little bit with the Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. What else do we got going on here? Someone that's probably not taking any action right now. Two more cards for Capricorn, please. The Four of Wands. The Four of Pentacles. Two Fours. Four Four could be important. Three Three. And the Page of Swords. Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. Yeah, uh huh. Wounded Warrior. Somebody that doesn't want to give up here. Somebody that still wants to fight for something, clearly. Five of Wands. Lots of Wands here. We also have three, four, five. Jumping all the way to the Nine. It looks like you have turned your back to someone. Friend, family member, lover. Could even be a child that you're not speaking to or you're kind of just being a little bit quiet with because I do get a quiet vibe. There's something that someone did that hurt you. Maybe not exactly lost, but there was some sort of hurt. There was some sort of um, something when something did. Probably whoever you're in this Five of Wands with. Probably whoever this Four of Pentacles is. Someone that knows they hurt you, most likely, for sure. And I think they're kind of giving you time to kind of cool off or to kind of just get to a place where they can talk to you. Keeping a close eye on you, though, with the Page of Wands. Page of Swords, sorry. Keeping a very close eye on you. Because I do get they, they, they haven't given up. I think they're just giving you some sort of space. Because I think you both acknowledge that the Three of Swords has happened here. Some pain has been inflicted. This Five of Wands could be internal conflict. Or it could just be conflict between the two of you. Which kind of seems like the vibe. Maybe some sort of um, conflict regarding the home with the Four of Wands here. That does represent home. But I, at least it does seem like someone wants to come out of the conflict and stabilize things again. Could be someone you live with. As I said, it could be a sibling. It could be a child. could be a spouse. Different for all of you. But it does seem like this person's kind of waiting for you to cool down. Three of Wands is definitely about waiting. And with the Four of Pentacles, this is like, I'm not giving up. But I'm just I'm going to give you your space. I haven't, I haven't let go of this. But I'm going to get you your space. And as soon as I feel like, you know, you're not as mad, we're going to fix this. I'm not giving up. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you, is definitely a relationship that you have um, exited from with the Nine of Pentacles, Empress. They see you as the Empress, though. That could definitely be why they can't release this. I do see the Ten of Swords here. So it looks like someone you have turned your back on that you want nothing to do with. <laughs> it does seem like someone you want nothing to do with. You got a lot of love to give. You're very aware of your worth. You're very good either way. With or without, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. And if there's any sort of hurt here, or maybe a repeated cycle of hurt, you're over it. You're completely and utter over it. This person looks at you, though, whoever it is you're arguing with, fighting with, don't want to deal with anymore. Looks as you as the Empress, Libra, Taurus energy. They're stuck. This person has no intention of leaving this behind, leaving this alone, leaving you alone, leaving the situation alone. For some of you, it's a family member or friend, so you know. It's harder, kind of harder to break those bonds, but they have no intention of sort of easing up. They're giving you space, but they don't plan on it being that. 
the devil card showing up could be dealing with the capricorn very much fixated someone feels bound to you mm -hmm. someone definitely feels bound to you and however much time you need they're gonna let you take it because the, they want to they want to fix it they want to work it out they're stuck they're unable to move forward mentally from the situation lots of introspection here as well could be dealing with a virgo Lots of introspection, and this further confirms that this person's definitely giving you your space. Definitely giving you your space, but I do get a sense that um, they don't plan on giving up on this. So, I don't know if you need to block somebody, or, you know, some of you, it is a family member. So, you you know, you're taking your space. Take as much time as you need. Because they're willing to give it to you. They're still going to be there. They don't have any intention of sort of uh, releasing you or the connection. So, there's that. Guidance, please, for Capricorn, if this is a romantic situation specifically. They do plan on, you know, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Oh, that's cute. Some of you, it's definitely a bestie or a friend or someone you have a very close connection with. That's also why they're not giving up. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. This could be what this person is doing. Giving you your space, giving you your time. Finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life. You do have this person in the penny pincher sort of Grinch energy here. That could be what the argument has been about, especially if this is someone you share a home with. A partner. Something to do with finances or stability or, or you know, making things real. It could also be this person couldn't at the time. And didn't tell you that with the four of pentacles here. Their money wasn't on par. So... It manifested in, 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 in conflict, but not if they had just been honest. But you know how that goes. <laughs> but you know how that goes. We're dealing with humans here. There's only so much we can ask for. What do we have, please, for Capricorn? But I do see you're good. I do see you're good. Coming in as the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles, that could also be what is sabotaging this. This person puts you on a very high pedestal. They see you as someone very top tier. And they're not quite there. They weren't quite there. And instead of probably just letting you know, hey, I'm not ready for you, but I plan on being ready for you. It, something happened here. Move on. Someone is unable. A waste of time. Not a waste? What? No, I'm not tripping. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. There we go. I think that's how you're feeling. Yeah, I think you've closed the door on this permanently, but I don't know. Maybe this person will settle for being your friend if this is romantic. Maybe this person is your friend. You'll still stay friends, but you just won't hang out as much. You won't call as much. It, the vibe will never be the same. And caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. So as I said, I don't think you know the whole story here. I think you're making assumptions, which obviously is the natural thing to do. When, when the truth is not being given freely, but something to do with this person and their stability that they were, they, they, they didn't let you know in. And it, it just manifested into a conflict because omission of the truth, it's going to come out somehow. It's going to manifest in reality somehow. So for some of you, you've definitely moved on. You will not be dealing with this person again. And some of you, there is still opportunity. Maybe once some sort of conversation is had. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon, and Pisces. Yeah, someone's not being realistic, or they weren't being realistic. Someone was not being realistic here. And uh, see the big picture, giraffe spirit, number 29, which is an 11. I think someone is seeing the big picture, though. I think they're seeing the error in their ways. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold, number four. Yeah. Also another four, so you have two fours here. You have three fours, four, four, four. Protection energy. And sacred beetle spirit magic works through number 52, which is a seven. Something about fate and luck. So this could be this person realizing that magic works through them. And by being honest, in the bigger picture of things, if this person really sees you in their life, they gotta go about things different. They gotta go about things different. Can't keep doing the same old shit, expecting different results. You know what that is? Insanity. Guidance, please, for Capricorn. Oops. Thank you. Soul family, calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Yeah, there's that trusting. Letting people in. Letting people know the truth. 
so so that you know it doesn't fester and people aren't left to their own imagination on what's going on and just say yes another three so i do get these threes are more so about alignment this had to happen in order for this to come together the way it's about to because i do get this it's like the bond is deepening once the truth is told when someone comes clean on what was really going on what was a kind of the bond can deepen here make the effort let go of control issues someone maybe doesn't want to want you to think less of them when it's like we're family like get a, get a grip because it seems like you're very successful if you're not you're about to be guidance please for capricorn you know how that goes with Cap, just <laughs> your best is more than enough i promise yeah someone has self-esteem issues they regard you in a very high light and almost feel like they're not worthy or, you know, it wasn't too truthful about where they stand, where they are in their life out of fear of judgment or, you know, you might not think they're good enough. But I, I see here it goes beyond the surface shit. This this connection goes way beyond the surface shit, whether it's a family member, friend, lover. And I think that's the realization that this person is having. Hence why we have this um this Virgo energy here of the hermit. Mm hmm. Anywho, that is your reading Capricorn. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.